भक्ति रखील हर देव को स्वामी महर्षिरो भाव महाोत्सव तिथि की जाए निर्मलाचार्य महाराज की जयभक्ति विजय त्रिविक्रम महर्ष की जय श्री चैतन्य सारस्वत मात आचार्य वृंद की जय जय शिला ऋषिकेश महाराज की जय सेवन ऋषिकेश महाराज की जय जय अनंत कोटि वैष्णव वृंद की जय जय श्री भक्ति राखक श्री हरदेव को स्वामी मर्ष तिरुबाप महा उत्सव तिथि की जय श्री नवदीप धाम की जय अपराध भट भंजन पाठ की जाकर धाम की जा श्री गोविंद कुंड की जाय श्री यूनियन एंड सेपरेशन समाधि मंदिर श्री लक्षीधर महाराज की जा अनंत कोटि वैष्णव वृंद की जा श्री हफन्य धाम की जाय गौर भक्त वृंद की जा हरि नाम संकीर्तन की जा Well, there's beautiful songs here that we can sing once Abhiram Prabhu is free, and I wanted to sing Ye Anilo Prema Dana, so we can do that again. Ye Anilo Prema Dana. Koruna prachu, he no prabhu kota ke la cha cha cha.
Is the bathing still going on? Okay, you can finish. Go ahead. So, on this day in 1988, Srila Bhakti Rakak Dev Goswami Marsh departed this world for his eternal pastimes to resume at the lotus feet of Radha Krishna Mahaprabhu. Our Srila Gurudev, Srila Govinda Maharaj, said uh, he could feel this day coming. The disappearance day of Srila Gurmarsh, he felt it was coming and earthquakes began to uh, take place in Navadip Tam. Some of the buildings cracked and one tree left its body, a giant mango tree that was actually positioned uh, in a place where the pillar would stand for Srila Sridhar Maharaj's Samadhi Mandir, the temple of union and separation. And the tree left the world. And Srila Sridhar and Srila uh, Govinda Maharaj, Gurudev, he 
asked Purimarsh, be on standby, don't go anywhere because we need your help for samadhi. And uh, it was Amavasya, this is the dark moon. And on this day, early in the morning during Brahma Murta, Srila Sridharmarsh left. And Srila Gurudev was so devastated. The devotees who were present said they'd never heard <coughs> a cry like that, hearing Srila Gurudev. And he was very much uh, trying to hide his feelings and to put on a brave face and to conduct the ceremony for Srila Sridhar Maharaj's disappearance. And Srila Gurudev recalled that uh, so much uh, support came from all the Gaudiya Vaishnavas around Navadip Dham, uh, uh, Navadip Dham and the whole Gora Mandal, Calcutta Mats, everybody came to celebrate, to uh, participate. And Srila Gurudev said, seeing the deities' faces, Shishi Guru Gauranga, Gandharva Govinda Sundar, that he was feeling so devastated, but looking at the deities, they were celebrating. He said he's never seen them so happy. Radha Krishna Mahaprabhu, Srila Sridhar Maharaj's deities in Navadvip, that they, he felt like uh, the deities are expressing their joy to have their eternal associate back with them in service. And uh, Srila Sridhar Maharaj said he couldn't bear to write with, with uh, Gopi Chandan on the chest of Srila Sridhar Maharaj, but no one else could do that. And uh, Puri Maharaj was there conducting the, the samadhi, uh, all the uh, intricacies of samadhis. Gurudev felt like there's no one here who can do that. Then Puri Maharaj came to help and Gurudev said the moment they covered Srila Sridhar Maharaj's body with salt up to here, he couldn't look anymore when they were going to cover his head and then put all the soil and begin the Samadhi Mandir uh, manifestation. And Gurudev put his full heart into the uh, conception, the uh, architecture, the building of Srila Sridhar Maharaj's Samadhi. You'll see it looks like a big murdanga with a Shiva Lingam on top. And uh, chakras all around and so much ornate detail and uh, much oversight, uh, seeing what all the work would be throughout the years. It took several years and so many devotees contributed and everyone who contributed, Gurudev wrote their name on the Samadhi Mandir in a plaque. And it was uh, a time as we saw when the Guru disappears, the, the Acharya disappears from the world, there's a time of great unrest. And Srila Gurudev experienced that. And then when he disappeared, we experienced that. We know what it's like now. But uh, when Srila Prabhupada left, when Srila Sridhar Maharaj left, when Saraswati Thakur left, it's a time of the fire coming to test the faith and in Srila Sridhar Maharaj's words. If we are real disciples or uh, sham disciples. 
It's a time when our faith becomes tested, our allegiance becomes tested, a time of uh, purification and time to uh, serve in separation and learn what that is, how to serve in separation from your master. So Gurudev uh, spent some years just in uh, servitor back pushing mode. He wasn't coming forward. Srila Sridhar Maharaj installed him as Acharya and the Saivite President Acharya Gurudev said he'd accept the word Saivite in front of the servitor Acharya, successor of Srila Sridhar Maharaj. But he was very much uh, in the mood of a divine servitor. And actually we would see him as divine servitor, but he was in the mood of a humble aspiring servitor and he would not make any decisions without considering what Srila Sridhar Maharaj would like, what he would want, uh, if Guru Maharaj wills it, if Guru, Guru Maharaj blesses it, everything that would come to him he'd offer to his Guru Maharaj and not showing himself, his, his own personal preferences, his likes, dislikes, because Srila Gurudev and all our Acharyas are their own stars in the sky. They have their personalities, their likes, their uh, flavors and tastes and devotion, the mood of service. Maybe we can pass that mat. Mm -hmm. And um, for some years, Guru Dave didn't reveal himself in full. That's what I'm trying to say. He was concealing himself in the mood of a servitor. And what Guru, Guru Maharaj would like, what he would uh, want, Srila Guru Dave strictly adhered to that and maintained that obviously his whole life. Later came out to show himself. And so years went by before Gurudev showed himself as the Savite Acharya. And so much love and devotion he showed for his Guru Maharaj and Practically at gunpoint, Gurudev accepted the position of Saivite Acharya. Now we're seeing anyone and everyone can become guru these days, but that was uh, something our Srila Gurudev very um, uh, very much objected to for himself and was delaying and delaying and delaying and showing Srila Sridhar Maharaj, um, I have very short lifespan. You can see my lifeline is very cut short and my horoscope is not showing uh, a decent long enough life to take on a role as a charger. Srila Sridhar Maharaj said, you throw that horoscope and I will give you life extension. And after so many threats, Srila Sridhar Maharaj saying, I'll break the mat, I'll give the deities to Puri Maharaj, and I will dismantle the Chaitanya Saraswat mat if you will not take your seat as the Sevite president of Charja. So Gurudev finally said, I am your goat. You can cut my neck, cut my tail, as you like, you do. I'm your, your property, your servitor. And in this way, accepting the, the position that Srila Sridhar Maharaj wanted for him. So we can see how much love our Gurudev had for him and 
uh, how much love Saraswati Thakur had for Srila Sridhar Maharaj, that he felt at least there's one man that can represent me fully. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur said this, when I leave the world, I know I have one man who can fully represent me in every way. And when he left the world, he made sure Srila Sridhar Maharaj was present and um, singing Sri Rupa Manjari Pada. Srila Sridhar Maharaj also hesitating to sing that and giving someone else an opportunity to sing that who is a better singer. And Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur said, no, I'm not looking for tune. I'm looking for you to sing this song. I want to hear it from your lotus mouth. And so those present, those who were in the know could see that that power transfer was taking place. When Saraswati Thakur was leaving the world, he was transferring the power to Srila Bhakti Rakak Sridhar Dev Goswami Maharaj. And then we saw how Srila Sridhar Maharaj transferred that power to Srila Gurudev. So, this is the Rupa Nuga Guru Sampradaya. We hear of Srila Sridhar Maharaj being the Rupa Nuga Dhara, the one carrying the current of Sri Rupa Goswami, Srila Gurudev would call him uh, Srila Rupa Goswami's man. And his uh, fine theistic intelligence, it was noted his uh, strong common sense, his disinterested nature in the world, and his... Uh, Super, super excellent, supernatural intelligence. One great pundit pointed that out. That there is nobody like Srila Bhakti Rakak Sridhar Dev Goswami Maharaj. And uh, even though I joined the Mat just a few years after Srila Sridhar Maharaj left the world, when I came to Navadweep, seeing his Samadhi Mandir, seeing his deities, the Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat, his holy Bhajan Kutir, that is so beautifully still to this day maintained, and Srila Sridhar Maharaj's chair. Most of all, Srila Sridhar Maharaj's dear most devotee, Srila Gurudev, coming in contact with all these things, I felt the presence of Srila Sridhar Maharaj. You could feel the, like the, the fallout, the power radiation of Srila Sridhar Maharaj's presence. And I always felt so proud to be connected to Srila Sridhar Maharaj. It's my grandfather and Gurudev would say, you know, the grandfather is more merciful than the father. They say this in Bengal, that father can be more of a, a disciplinarian and can be very strict with the children. But the grandfather is all about love and affection and not uh, punishing. There's, the grandchild can do no wrong in the eyes of the grandparent. So they say in Bengal, that grandfather so merciful in Gurudev would say, you are the grandchildren of Srila Sridhar Maharaj. And he said, anyone in this line, this specialized line of, of the Rupa Nuga Sampradaya, the line of Srila Sridhar Maharaj, their destination will go through the Sampradaya to the lotus feet of Lalita Devi, and who is under Lalita Devi is Rupa Manjari. So this, our ultimate destination and our 
Yeah. Our ultimate goal is going in that line by the grace of Srila Sridhar He's taking us to the lotus feet of Lalita Devi and ultimately Rupa, Sri Rupa Manjari. And Gurudev would say, you don't know how fortunate you are all. And this is your uh, wealth, your a plane that all rights are reserved that is being uh, given to you on a golden plate. This is your birthright now as children and grandchildren of, and great-grandchildren. Srila Bhakti Rakak Sridhar Dev Goswami Maharaj. So the line of the Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat, not uh, disregarding any other aspect, but Srila, Srila Gurudev would like us to know that this is where you're going. And uh, that doesn't exclude Mahaprabhu and Nityananda Prabhu and Gora Leela, because that is also there. We can see uh, Srila Sridhar Maharaj in both, both Leelas. Who is here? Okay. So, in this way we are... Um, humbly aspiring for service. We are in separation of Srila Gurudev and Srila Guru Maharaj and members of the Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat, grandchildren and great-grandchildren of Srila Sridhar Maharaj and very much appreciating all that has been given to us. And in time, hopefully, our appreciation will become even more great and more uh, full of flavor and taste. All the contributions Srila Sridhar Maharaj has given us, the, the literary contributions, the inner meaning of the Gayatri Mantra, the uh, holy books, the talks, that Srila Sridhar Maharaj gave that were put into these five deity books, Search for Sri Krishna, Reality the Beautiful, Loving Search for the Lost Servant, Subjective Evolution, Sri Guru and His Grace, Golden Volcano. Gurudev felt that these were deities, not just books. And we read them again and again, and they're always ever fresh. And Srila Sridhar Maharaj was uh, a never-ending fountain of Harikata and of beautiful compositions like Prema Dhamma Strotram, like Pranamami Sadha Prabhupada Padam, like uh, the Saraswat Arati and Jai Sachinandana and uh, Nityananda Dwarasakam, Sri Nityananda Chandram Bhaja Bhaja Satatam, Gora Krishna Padampam. So many beautiful songs, so much uh, contribution, uh, original contribution given. We see that uh, there's some. generic Krishna consciousness and there's some specialized Krishna consciousness. And what we find in Srila Sridhar Maharaj's contribution and his lineage and his uh, contributions that were given for everyone are very specialized and very unique and are full of deep thought and inner meaning. And we can spend our whole lives trying to appreciate these things. And by grace, more and more appreciation and understanding will come. When I first heard Srila Sridhar Maharaj's words, home comfort, um, I felt um, some 
extraordinary connection that I must go to his servitors, his devotees, his representatives and meet them and receive some connection because I felt like there's so much honey inside that jar and I'm on the outside and I want in. Honey be on the outside, wanting a taste of that, knowing that I have to go to the source, which was at that time, 1991, that was Srila Govinda Maharaj's property. And going and uh, receiving an in initiation, Srila Gurudev said, look, Guru Maharaj is smiling at you. We are sitting at his bedside in Navadvip. And then after receiving initiation from Srila Gurudev, the teachings of Srila Sridhar Maharaj became more real, more tangible, more understandable, like some entrance is given at initiation time. And that's for all of us. We're being welcomed, welcomed in the, into the land of no admission, where all rights are reserved and everything coming to us on a golden plate. So, the universal, uh, the universal conception of Sri Guru was something that uh, so many of us appreciate. We can find uh, some of that content within Sri Guru and His Grace, but there is more, more in His talks, understanding that. Uh, who is Guru, and how Krishna is revealing himself in so many ways, so many forms, and that uh, the conception of harmony, absolute harmony, another um, beautiful, concise uh, explanation Srila Sridhar Maharaj giving that um, he's citing the orchestra, how in an orchestra there's many instruments, but without a conductor, how can they play beautiful music? So the master, like the conductor, is uh, bringing together so many different sounds from different strata and brought in tune, in harmony, through the conductor. And... Srila Sridhar Maharaj here in his talks, giving like a, an analogy within an analogy within an analogy that the planets, they're going around the sun and in this way moving in their orbits in harmony around the sun. And how um, putting food into the stomach is feeding the whole body and how is quoting Bhagavatam, how you pour water on the root of a tree, the whole tree is fed. So Srila Sridhar Maharaj, in just one idea, is giving, who is, he was known for his use of analogy and using analogies from the scriptures to make very clear, concise uh, understanding of these conceptions and with some original beauty and original conception, how uh, absolute harmony is achieved through dedicating to the center, then everything is fulfilled. The center meaning Krishna, Govinda. Krishna is at the center. We are all his parts and parcels. We are part of that original uh, organic whole. And it's our duty to serve for the good of the whole. There we will find satisfaction like pouring water on the root of the tree. The whole tree is fed. By serving the center, everything is served. By serving the Lord, everything is fulfilled. Ourselves, our environment, the Lord is happy. Our intrinsic, innate duty and purpose in life is fulfilled. So some of these conceptions of Srila Sridhar Maharaj are so uh, beautiful 
and made so clear by his use of analogy. So um, I will now ask our illustrious guardians we have with us, I heard. We have uh, Srila Bhakti Shiru Vaikanas Maharaj with us. And we expect Srila Avadut Maharaj at some point. And we have Rishikesh Maharaj with us. We'd like to hear them speak. And uh, hopefully we can hear you and see you. If you can unmute and put your camera on. Like to at this time. There we have Vaikanas Maharaj, Dandavat. Dandavat. Dandavat Didi, Dandavat Volleyball. I'm very uh, happy listening from uh, the divine darshan, the glory that has been, you had spoken about our Guru Deva, the Shidra Maharaj. Actually, uh, I wanted to remain outside, you know, and listen, just listen. I don't want to speak. Because I feel like I'm not really qualified to say something. Because uh, uh, I am the most potent. I had uh, I had the ambition, but only to stay at this philosophy. But uh, like a doll, I was asked to speak something. It will be a denial. It will be treacherous. If I would have speak the glory of Shilashidra Maharaj and the other devotees, but somehow help me in this endeavor. Today, the world is celebrating, should we say, in remembrance of the disappearance day of Shila, of His Divine Grace, Ombishpad, Shila Bhakti Rakhapshida, the Bhagavad Maharaj, the founder and carrier of the illustrious Sri Tanya Sarasvati. I I have so many things to say, but unable to right now. I feel so. I feel so lacking in many things. I want to withdraw. I I want just want to hear. But at the same time, I have this big feeling. I have to stand up and say something about the glories of Shri Guru Bharat. How it is true that even this red soul. He had saved, you know, and he asked me uh, to take this uh, this uh, verse. Allow me to speak something. What transformed me to come to the Lord's Spirit of Flesh and the I was then in this school in perhaps maybe 19, 1977 till 1980, I was there, I was living there. But uh, due to some difficulties, some misunderstanding, some troubles that erupted, I, I was, I said I had to leave. Uh, I was telling myself that this is not what I read from the book of Lakra It's a fine Krishna Bhakti, uh, Bhakti Vedanta Swayama. So it was in 1980. Luckily for me, a devotee hunted me a note about the Shiddha Maharaj. And I said, uh, I'm going to read this personally. So I went out, I decided to leave, and then I wrote the map. Three times that was one map. I didn't know if, not, I'm not hoping that uh, I would be answered. I didn't know that I would be answered to the priest of uh, Prabhu, who was then the math secretary. So I asked that I be, I would like to take shelter of the Sri Chaitanya Sarakotan. It was very difficult for me. So the Guru Maharaj answered through, through Bhadrinarayan Prabhu. 
and he says, yes, you may uh, take shelter, you may come, you may join, but, uh, but uh, you have to wait for five years. So it's not that easy thing. When we left Iskon, we're about 50. Then year after year, it reduced. And then uh, became only five of us for that. So one day, it was December of 1984, Pilaf Guru Maharaj asked uh, his divine grace, to go to the Philippines. Actually, he was on his way going to going back to America via London, and he spoke to leave for that day. And uh, but Guru Maharaj asked him uh, to go to the Philippines instead. So he did, and he gave initiation in behalf of the Peter Maharaj. And I'm 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 very happy. Five of us were given initiation. And after that, but before that, before giving initiation, I asked him, what shall I do then? Uh, while waiting for us to be able to enter uh, the mission, he said, you have to take shelter of the Lord of Spirit of Lord Bishop and the Prabhu. So I look around try to find uh, the prayers. And I saw these songs of the Narutam Das So I uh, said, this uh, will be it now. And I like the songs very much. And I asked if I, uh, during the time of education, if I could uh, keep this uh, prayer. To me. So I'd like to take shelter of Lotus with Lord And I was allowed to, anyhow. Many years had passed. And after that, to the grace of the, the devotees, I was able to enter nobody down. But before that, the first miracle happened in my life. Miracle, should I say. One day a devotee, a Filipino devotee, who was uh, been uh, out of work, he got compensated and his lot of money. And he told me, he said, I'm going to the Indian embassy tomorrow because I just secured my passport. I would be looking for a visa and then, then buy a ticket and go to, to fly to India to Nabadikta. I said, that's nice. I'm happy to hear that. But first, the Guru Maharaj says that uh, in order for us to enter Sri Nabadikta, we have to pray for Lord Nikiranda to grant us this mercy. So he said, uh, don't curse me, Prabhu, you know, just bear me to yourself. You don't have money, you have nothing. Well, I have money, I have the means, I can go anytime. But right now, actually, I have the money to purchase my ticket. So I am doing that. So he said to me, bye-bye. I said, well, I just only relaying to you what your Guru Maharaj says. But unfortunately, he wasn't able to was unable to visit Pilabari town. So one day, a devotee came and he said, we wanted you to go to Pilabari town. And uh, your name was mentioned. So I guess uh, you should go. I said, uh, if I go, some devotees here in the Philippines would criticize me. Why me? Why not them? So, well, you have you know, you have to decide. If you will not decide, then we will give it to some others. Of course, I wanted to. Who, who does not want? So I will take this opportunity. This opportunity came to my life. And I was able to see this divine grace. And he was smiling. He's so very happy to see. And then... Uh, so many things that happened. I was so new. I don't know much. But I just want to see my Guru Deva this time. And I pray to her to do it under Prabhu. Just give me this opportunity to see my Guru Deva. And uh, he granted me my wish. 
I heard also from the stories of Philip Prabhupada, the divine creation, uh, is Iba Kibiranta Swaymar Prabhupada, that he only saw his good neighbor about 10 times. But I saw the Guru Deva only once. It was in July of 1987. But I noticed it. Every minute, every minute that I was with him, I see him how he smiles. I saw him how he speaks. I saw him that I said, yes, it is my lucky day that I came to be stopped. So the inevitable came. A year after that, the Guru Maharaj has withdrawn his manifest past Everybody was affected, including. But I remember very well the structure that was given. He said, You have to take a mature stand of Krishna consciousness because nobody. Nobody in the Philippines would help you. Nobody is around you know, to give you assistance. So I said, what can I do? The Lord has told me. So maybe some relief will come, some assistance. Somebody would be there to help. And I've been praying for that. And by great fortune, one day, I decided to go to Kama, which is very near the Philippines. It was October, but I had a problem with the heart. The doctor says, you cannot go. You had a very disturbing heart problem. I don't think you will survive if you will come on that day. So I said, uh, said you had to postpone the trip to uh, Thailand. What can I? So I prayed so hard. I said yes. Okay. That is your instruction. For me. But I pray to the Lord. Keep it this way. I'm now in the last quarter of my life. I don't know where, when will I die? Where will I leave the world? My desire is just let me have this opportunity to uh, embrace the uh, Lotus, of whom our Guru Deva has uh, kind of, kind of give his mercy. And I was referring to his divine grace, Baba Kishwir Goswai Mother. So, it was in, in, in Guru Pogneep time, but I came to uh, Kamai. And then, <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 everything has become so very mystical. And I was given sannyas. And you know, because my Maharaj was very happy. He was saying, Guru Maharaj, the Prabhupada, and Shri the Maharaj were very happy to give you sannyas. And he is giving this to you, and Guru Purnima. So, I was a uh, I couldn't answer, I couldn't say anything that I will. I don't know. I'm not qualified at all. Thank you, like that. So, I was given this opportunity. Now I'm wearing this stuff from so, the most prestigious position. But who am I? My only desire is that I'll be practicing Krishna consciousness. I did not come here to teach. I come here to be nourished by the devotees whom God has prayed. And it is you. My inspiration came from the devotees that I went to there in Kamai, there in India. So upon hearing that I was 40 years, I was not able to go, to go back to India. Uh, Sandeep Prabhu and his family, wife, men's boy, he said, oh, 40 years, you've not been to India. And uh, of my mother said, yes, you go to India. You know, and the to India. I really, uh, very happy. 
I was really very happy to hear it from the delete of the book. Budget for 40 years. I have waited for this opportunity that I be granted the opportunity to visit the land of Mahaprabhu. And I'm happy that uh, with the grace of the wish of us, it has become possible. So, I would like to implore each and everyone to take this opportunity. To take this opportunity that you had come into the lost street of our Guru Deva, our Guru Vargas. If you come to the street of Tanya Sarasov, what is Krishna consciousness? You have to ask this thing into your life. You have to ask this very question. Why am I in this world? Why am I in this world? Why am I suffering? What is my vision here? What is the relief that I need? This is the principle that we have followed in Sri Tanya And this was, this question was asked by Sanatan Goswami, Shila Sanatan Goswami to Mahaprabhu. And this is the principle that we are following. The Desiddhanta. By the grace of Sri Guru and Gauranga, everything will be uh, revealed for us accordingly. So then they ask them, Perseverance that we need. Perseverance. That is what we need. We have to this area. We have to be we have to persevere so strongly. Not that one day we come to the temple, attend the program, and tomorrow is Sunday no more. Somebody comes to the temple once a week, once a month. Once a year, but we don't shun them. We, we don't kick them out. We try as much as possible to encourage them. We can explain them by love and affection, by taking care of them and tell them, give them the knowledge and what is Krishna for us. So, this opportunity it comes very rarely in this life. So, do not make waste of this. So, in your maturity, you would understand that Krishna is calling you. And Krishna consciousness means you have the price to pay. That an easy thing. You have to purchase it. By what? You there, Maharaj? Frozen? Okay, so Maharaj is sharing with us. He's an actual disciple of Srila Sridhar Maharaj. He received initiation from Srila Sridhar Maharaj through Goswami Maharaj on uh, one of Goswami Maharaj's visits to the Philippines. And Srila Sridhar Maharaj chose his name and, and his beads and sent with Goswami Maharaj. And he was, uh, we knew him during Srila Govinda Maharaj's time as uh, Rupa Vilas Prabhu. And he would always send donations throughout the years. He was a very humble household devotee with a big family. And then, um, then uh, a few years ago, I think maybe four years ago, after so long, um, Mike and Asmarsh came to visit, and then Goswami Marsh gave him sannyas and asked him to start initiating and to preach in Philippines and India and here. So he's... Uh, really has a lot of, of history behind him. He, he's a 
shining example of a real disciple of Srila Sridhar Maharaj and imbibes his mood. And Maharaj, did we get cut off from you? Can you hear us? We didn't mean to lose you. We didn't see him. We just he, okay. Well, we were lucky to hear something from him, an actual disciple of Srila Sridhar Maharaj on this glorious day. And yes, thank you. Okay. Maharaj, are you in India or are you in Philippines? I I I'm in the Philippines. I in my small kingdom. <laughs> smoking gun. <laughs> yeah, small kingdom. Your preaching uh, field. Yeah. Yeah. And then and uh, I would like uh just give me one more minute. Yes. I will run out. Okay, I'd like to uh, tell you all this story for others. Now, uh, one day in the life of Shilashidra Maharaj, he was approached by a devotee and he was asked, uh, Maharaj, in the song of Vaishnavakhe, of Shilabhakti Santa Saraswati, uh, there is a verse that says, Tomara Pratishta to Karira Vishnu. He says he compared our prestige and honor to be famous to a hog experiment to the school of a hog. Was he has specifically chosen this word? No, not like some other art, uh, or uh, why he has to use this word, not some other. Why did he say Sukarera Vista, the school of hogs, to describe? Pratista, or worldly prestige. Rashida Maharaj replied, we all know that Pratista is abominable and worthless. So it is only proper to bear uh, worthless object. So what does it mean? Why harm? Not some, any other metaphor. Uh, the question is, uh, arises uh, like this. Everybody passes a school. But the human school is eaten by the home. But the home school is avoided by any other animal. No, but no one is taking, taking. No one. No, everybody is avoiding. Even the plants does not want the school of a home. So that is how it is. Worthless, and only the Guru Maharaj was able to explain all this so beautifully that uh, I, I I don't want to you know, pass this day without telling you. I was very much attracted with this uh, kind of uh, explanations given by Shlakshidram and so we by it's broken. I hope to understand what I'm saying. Anyway. Um, this pride, this arrogance, it should be thrown away. The real, the, the real uh, key to be successful in spiritual life is to follow the teachings of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But trying to be uh, respectful, giving honors to others without expecting any honor. We have to be like that. And that is, again, I would like to greet each and every one of you. Thank you, everyone, for giving me this opportunity to speak. I offer my respectful my obeisances. To which divine grace, La Bhakti Rakhachidada Bhagoswami Maharaj. La Bhakti Rakhachidada Bhagoswami Maharaj. Hiru Baba. Mamaha Mahotipa. Jai. Of the symbol of All Maharaj ki And I think we have Avadut Marsh with us. Shila Avadut Maharaj, are you there? There he is. Jai. Shila Bhakti Bhimala Avadut Marsh ki Jai. 
Yeah, my dendrite pronoun to all. Um, sorry, a little sick right now. <coughs> Got a little cold. And air conditioner, but um, happy to see everyone here. It's a special occasion, special day. And um, so I can speak a little bit later after Narsimha Maharaj and Rishikesh Maharaj say something. Okay. You can tell them in Russian, Maharaj. Maharaj, скажите пару слов, а то я. Наши поклоны в Силавадут Махарадж Бхакти Шилавадут Махарадж Бхакти Валита Девин to all the devotees. We are very happy to see everyone in this important day. Sometimes we say that we congratulate you on this festival day, but many people don't like how is it that you are celebrating the disappearance? And actually, we agree. Yes, you can say that it's a day of remembrance of some gurus, some saints, but it's a festival day as well because it's a possibility for us to glorify the sadhu, the saint. And it's always a celebration, that's why. Yeah. We are living in the world of misery, and we think that there are many festivals that satisfy our senses, but at the end of the day, those festivals, they cause us pain and disappointment. But Festivals that are connected with the saints, even if it's disappearance. Disappearance is for our external, external vision, but behind that is eternal joy. As Kiyo Shidar Maharaj was preaching, the highest conception of Shichitani Mahaprabhu is love and separation. So this external grief, external suffering brings the deepest pain to the soul. The soul starts to realize its real nature, its real goal, the same purpose. And I, as a fallen soul, can see it. I came through many I went through many of them, and I don't understand what's the reason, but of course, by the grace of Swami Prabhupada and by the grace of the devotees, Swami Prabhupada gave us the opportunity to contact with the grace. I remember that at first, when I was reading the books of Swami Maharaj, he used a lot the word devotees, devotees do this or that. And I remember I always wanted to understand who are these devotees, how do they live, what do they do. They seem to be something very beautiful to me, devotee of the Lord. And later I had the opportunity to meet such devotees who was just at the beginning or those who are in the process of serious practice. And this is unforgettable feeling when we meet the devotees whose life is dedicated not to some trivial things of this world, trivial enjoyment, Karmic enjoyment, but with those who live in another conception and in the center of life of who is the Lord. Yesterday I read an article by Shidar Maharaj about the harmony. Remember that the main idea of Shidar Maharaj is. Gradation. Everything, gradation is in everything. And also the universal harmony. 
And in that article which I read, this Guru Maharaj says that people of this world, they fear, they are afraid. And where does fear come from? Because of the absence of harmony. Living being forgets about his purpose, forgets that he has his own master, and it he wishes to live with a separate, within its own separate interest, and as a consequence, the fear comes. But when the harmony is attained, the living being stops to be afraid. So we are very grateful to such personalities as our gurus. I didn't, we didn't have opportunity to meet Guru Maharaj and Swami Maharaj in person, but we were lucky enough to meet Govinda Maharaj and his associates. And that's the greatest, greatest fortune. Because when we meet in person, in life, the representative of the higher world, there is no more happiness for the whole soul to meet such personalities. It is said that the association with such personalities can change the whole world, the whole life of ours. Like Vakanas Maharaj said that Due to connection with Sri Shiddhar Maharaj, he became what he is now. He is preaching, inspiring everyone by his own example. And he is living the real spiritual life. So we are very grateful that we had the opportunity to meet Govinda Maharaj, the successor of Sri Shiddhar Maharaj who is in turn the successor of Shilasar Svati Thakur, representative of the Guru Parampara, which comes from the Lord Brahma himself. And just thank our lucky stars, thank these personalities that they have revealed it to us and allowed us to join this path. Hare Krishna, I would like to thank Bhakti Vijay, Simha Maharaj, Abadut Maharaj, Uswami Maharaj, Bhakti Lalita, Madhusun Maharaj, and all the successors of Govinda Maharaj who carry on bringing us, helping us on this way, on this difficult but very beautiful way. Although inside it can cause us some pain. And why pain? Because we are not perfect. <laughs> but as Raghunath Das Goswami supposedly said that Sanat and Goswami made me drink this nectar. And I'm very grateful to our gurus that in some way or other, they make us drink this nectar of reality. So I won't make it long. Maybe Narasimha Maharaj wants to say something. We don't watch to all the bhaktas. My first meeting with my teacher, Govinda Maharaj, was the most beautiful in my life. We know just that it, he was the most favorite disciple of Guru Maharaj. And there was simplicity how he gave us the spiritual knowledge, this revelation that we somehow trying to receive. And Srila Shadar Maharaj was also the successor of Srila Saraswati Thakur. That's Parampara. And I'm always proud. I'm always saying to my former friends that the greatest wealth for us 
His teachings of our gurus, they are well known by the whole spiritual world, past, present, and future. And that's our prime. We will follow their instructions. Майдан Навад says, Авадут Махарадж. Джай, Шилбаки, Сундра Бурнуди Бег Госвай Махарадж, Киджай, Шилбаки, Рочак Шилак, Бег Госвай Махарадж, Киджай, Джай, Шилбаки, Сидханта, Сарасвати, Пугаланд, Кур, Киджай, Шилбаки, Нота, Кур, Киджай, Шилбаки, 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 Джай Махабир Махарадж Киджай, Насим Махарадж Киджай, всем собравшимся преданным Киджай, всем вайшнавам Киджай. Всем ядкам. Which language should I express myself? English first, then Russian. Okay. I'll try. Uh, есть перевод там, да? There's translation going on. Yes. Okay, so when we <clears throat> speak about the position of Shri Guru Maharaj, a few things come to my mind. Number one, Haridas Thakur departure. I will later recall it, why? And number two, Rupa Goswami and Nitaranda Prabhu. Rupa Goswami and Nitaranda Prabhu. So why is that Rupa Goswami and Nitaranda Prabhu? Our line is called Rupa Nuga Sampradaya or Rupa and Raghunath Sampradaya. Path of Rupa and Raghunath. All the Sanatana Goswami is the older Vaishnava, but the most senior, most respected. But for some reason, it is considered to be a Sambanda and Prayojana. I mean, I'm sorry, Abhideya and Prayojana. Means the process of devotional service and the result of devotional service. In Rupa Goswami's teachings, we can see beautiful, divine expressions. What has been hidden in Srimad Bhagavatam has been fully revealed by Rupa Goswami. Actually, in fact, everything our Sampradaya is giving consider inconceivable if we would not have Srimad Bhagavatam. But if we can reference on Srimad Bhagavatam, then we can say what has not been given in Srimad Bhagavatam has been full which has been given in Shin Bhagavatam in a certain portion, the key, is being given fully by Rup Raghunath and all the great Vaishnavas, such as Sanatana Goswami, Vishwanath, Chakravarti, you know, Baladev, etc. But everybody giving his own portion. And so when we look at Guru Maharaj, number one, Krishna's Babaji Maharaj always glorify him and his poetry and his character. Why? Because Guru Maharaj could follow Rupa Goswami So if we understand, in Sanskrit there are many different styles. And like Vervyas, Guru, Guru Dev used to say, like an elephant, very, you know, very straightforward. But Rupa Goswami has unique poetry style, which is follow the words of gopis. In other words, only gopis, they can glorify Krishna in a very specific, very beautiful, divine way that no one else can. And this is support in Chaitanya Chaitamrita, Ganga Samhita, Bhagavad itself, and all the scriptures. But who can follow that style? Who can give that deeper meaning? Bhakti Virasa and also Bhakti Vinoda Viraha, Viraha Dasaka, Srila Guru Maharaj is giving that. In other poetry, Guru Maharaj is showing that. So Guru Maharaj is not just somebody who's been nominated as Rupa Nubadara and, you know, oh, you're Rupa Nubadara, okay. That's the title. No. He is Rupa Nubadara. He doesn't have the title. He has the meaning. In fact, actually, Guru with no title because in Gaudiya, you know, he never walk around with this title. When somebody would praise him for that, he would be so humble and so kind. 
But he would not deny that. Why he would not deny that? Because he knew that is his position. Hold on. It's very honorable position. It's not public position to, for you know, for the sake of meeting. It's the true position for the sake of life and service. And in this regard, we can say this position of Rupa Goswami is inconsistent and it's unattainable. It's it's so high in Gaudiya Sampradaya. So very few souls can appreciate what to speak about being like that. But now let's talk about <laughs> Nityananda Prabhu. As we understand, Nityananda Prabhu is Guru Tattva. And Nityananda Prabhu, one of the persons that killed certain demons in Krishna Lila. And why is it they killed by Nityananda Prabhu? Because without killing those de demons, these offenses, which were cultivated in form of demons, no access to Krishna consciousness would be granted to you. And killing those demons are necessarily important part, according to Bhakti Vinod Thakur, is every devotee should do it himself with the help of Nityananda Prabhu, with the help of Balaram. In other words, by hearing and chanting about Krishna, you should also take care of your internal matters, which we know if you don't, they will take care of you. It's just like a disease, chronic disease. If you don't take care of chronic disease, chronic disease can, will take care of you. That means if you don't take the medicine, don't follow the diet, then definitely disease will progress. So... Nityananda Prabhu is very kind, and he comes in Guru Maharaj's pastime to follow Srila Govinda Maharaj. And expressing mercy of the Guru, the Guru in his grace. So the Guru is Guru Maharaj, and the grace is Govinda Maharaj. Why? Why? Because the Guru does not require go around and glorify himself. That is not Guru's business, to go and establish himself. But it is disciple business to establish the glory of the Guru. So as Govinda Maharaj did here, went 24 hours, 24 times around the globe and established himself purely and firmly as followers and fanatical 100% street followers of Guru Maharaj. And by doing that, he requests mercy of Guru Maharaj, Rupa Goswami, Old Param, Guru Varga, and Srila Prabhupada, of course, for sure. Because that was Srila Prabhupada's great pleasure. He thought, if I can just bring those people to Krishna consciousness and show them Guru Maharaj, that Guru Maharaj will show them what is the depth of Krishna consciousness. Prabhupada knew who Guru Maharaj is. And he many times inquired him, you become a president of this call. But but Guru Maharaj was a leader with no title because this title is sacred. It's not external. The Guru Maharaj said, no, I, will, I will consult your disciples. That's what I'm, I'm here for. I'm here to give Shiksha. So we have two kinds of Gurus, Diksha and Shiksha. However, Guru Maharaj just emphasized our parampara, Shiksha parampara. means Diksha, everyone receiving it. But we follow Rupa, Raghunath, all the great teachers, and this is Shiksha. Yeah, we're not direct disciples of them, we're disciples of their disciples, but we follow their instructions. And that's what our parampara is. So with blessings of Shimati Bhaktivalita Devi, I will switch into Russian. And I don't know who's translating it. I'm sorry, I'm a little sick, but I'm trying to be as firm and direct as I can. And uh, so I will express a few words in Russian today, and then later I can speak in Russian for the other Zoom. I hope we're going to have one at, at evening time. Во-первых, большое спасибо за возможность выступить. К сожалению, немножко приболел. Thank you for this opportunity to say something. Unfortunately, I'm a little bit sick. I hope we'll have another Zoom in the evening in Russian. Now we are here in Chiang Mai with Bhakti Valita, so we are speaking in English to glorify Guru Maharaj. I just want to add several words. I don't know whether I was translated or not. 
Um, it's being simultaneously translated okay. at, at the moment. Okay. Я надеюсь, что эта трансляция. I hope that this broadcast at least give you the essence of what I'm trying to say. We know that Srimad Bhagavatam is the key to Krishna Lila. But the scriptures of the Gaudi of Vaishnavas, they not just expand Srimad Bhagavatam, but they also help to understand it. Only Vaishnavas can reveal Srimad Bhagavatam. Without the teachings of Srimad Mahaprabhu and the books of our oh, Goswami, Bhagavatam is not understandable, not attainable. And it is illustrated when we install the deities for the Hindalands in India, we had the Brahminas who installed the deities for the whole of, uh, of their life. It's the best Brahminas, best of the best from the South India. But they were shocked seeing Bhagavatam, seeing Vrindavan. Although they seen about Krishna, it was uh, the first time that they came to Vrindavan in their lives. South India is the place of qualified Brahmas, you know, Sanskrit, etc. But when they saw Vrindavan and Heard its vibrations, they were shocked. So they came to install Krishna. Deities. They wanted to bring life, but they got life themselves. When we went to Vrindavan, I was showing them places, and they were almost crying. And they said, Oh, we were hearing about this Kali Adaman, the tree where the Krishna stole the Gopis' dress, dresses. And I said, that because Rupa Goswami and other Goswamis came, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came, that's why we know these places. And they said, yes, in South India we know all this, but what Gordia Vaishnavas gave, that's just inconceivable. And it's not just inconceivable, it reveals the... <laughs> inner world of Vrindavan. And that's what Rupa Goswami Raghunath Das Goswami made. Sanskrit poetry of Guru Maharaj. It's in the style of Rupa Goswami, the rhyme, and the rhyme is connected to the sense. When the words, they get the rhyme, the music, the beauty is revealed, and the poetry becomes charming. And Krishna Kaviraj Goswami always called Guru Maharaj the Rupa Goswami's man, because he heard his poetry. Unfortunately, we do not have such sense of appreciation for this poetry, but we know that Shila Maharaj could write the style of Rupa Goswami. And it was not occasional that Saraswati Thakur gave him this title, Rupa Nugarhar. It's a very intimate title. Leader with no title. There is such expression, leader with no title. The man who is really in charge, although externally he might be the advisor or maybe in a hidden position, so this title of hidden ruler, hidden leader, it's also about Shumati Radharani and her she friends, Rupa Manjari. And that's also for Guru Maharaj. But if it was so, we couldn't know 
about this? Он не хочет мне. О, вот это хорошо, я не Рупанугадхара. Я He considered himself to be a servitor uh, of Guru Maharaj. Of course, someone is Rupanugadhara, and it's not the title that can be attained by heritage. You can only serve. It's not like a medal that you can get, some prize that you can win or the crown. No, no, you can only serve. But Govinda Maharaj is the real servitor. And once I told him, Oh, Govinda Maharaj, Guru Maharaj was Rupanugadhara, and for us, you are Rupanugadhara. And Govinda Maharaj answered, It's uh, your special fortune to see your Guru with such eyes. Because it's not that easy to see your spiritual master with the eyes. Eyes of faith. And that's the faith that Govinda Maharaj brings to us. It's faith in us. He believed in the Jairaman. And now the Jairaman is Narasimha ah, ну, Maharaj. And the German never ah, thought that he would become a sannyasi. He thought, oh, great, I will help to the Vaishnavas. I have this territory and I can donate it for the temple. Okay, now we build the temple and now we can serve it. We can help the youngsters, we can instruct them. Oh, it's the Vaishnava thought. He never thinks, oh, when I, will I become a king? Oh, who will feed me? Uh, Vaishnava is not wanting a position or establish himself. Can you be more kind than... Uh, Nanda Maharaj be more, be better than Mother Ishoda. It's not possible. For us, the mercy of Guru Maharaj is through Govinda Maharaj. For other Gaudiya Vaishnavas, there are some other practices. Everyone understood who is Guru Maharaj in Gaudiya Maharaj. But for us, he came through Govinda Maharaj. Now many preachers in ISKCON, they preach the conception, but they do not tell something about Govinda Maharaj. But I promise, if they met Govinda Maharaj at least once in their life, their whole mood and behavior would change. Because just by meeting him, by remembering him, it changes something within you. It's the whole another play of consciousness. And you can recognize the Vaishnava not by two or beads or by tilak. Vaishnava is what's inside. That's what should reveal itself by mercy. So Guru Maharaj left us thanks to Goswami Maharaj and Mahayogi Prabhu and the editorial team and Spiritual Prabhu and Sahadev Prabhu. Guru Maharaj left us great spiritual heritage. And we still have time to grow, to appreciate it. In this con, the leaders, the topmost leaders, they could appreciate Sridhar Maharaj. And sometimes they preach his ideas, but without mentioning his name, quoting him in his course, in their courses. 
Но наша с вами задача раскрыть Reveal the treasure chest of Guru Maharaj. That's not an easy task. It's not just tell some generic Krishna consciousness, but to understand how did Guru Maharaj show us where Krishna consciousness goes. Because without Guru Maharaj, you can be a little bit superficial, a little bit fragile. Because some devotees come to Vrindavan and they say, oh, we came here for the special mood. Then they suddenly start to tell about Gopi and Krishna. And I think, oh, Guru Maharaj wouldn't ever do this. And he would say, oh, in this place, the great sacrifice of love is happening. He would explain this and then would make a step towards Mahaprabhu. And then this man would understand. Yes, physically I'm here in Vrindavan, but it doesn't guarantee me anything. But if I listen about the deeds of Gauranga and Vaishnavas, I can appreciate the sacrifice of love. Because if you remember that what happens in Vrindavan between Krishna and his devotees, it's not the product of some mundane relations. Even if you have good friends, like when you're young, you do many parties, like the youngsters, they go and they associate in ecstasy. Everyone came through this. And if, men, if youngsters, they do not have association, they are unhappy. And they ask, what should I do to get love? Maybe I should earn money. Maybe I should do manicure. Or I need some beauty. Because in the material world, everyone wants love. But the sense of Vrindavan is based on self-sacrifice. It's not possible to attract Krishna by anything except for self-sacrifice and love. The dust in Vrindavan is waiting for Krishna to step on it. Guru Maharaj said, you should appreciate the speck of dust in Vrindavan, then you can get anything else. But if you do not worship the dust of Vrindavan, you cannot do, appreciate anything else. Once I had an idea to bring some Holy Vrindavan does to mix it with the paint, the holy, holy paints, and then to use it for a festival, for a holy festival. It's like the best recipe. Because you cannot mix it in water, people will not drink it. They will call it like Indian dirt. So I had the idea to mix it in the, like powder, colorful powder, while our guys play some pigeons, then they will spread this holy dust to the cows. And it's like the dust from the Vaishnava feet. That's the idea I had for our festival. And we want to achieve the dust from the Guru Maharaj's lotus feet. It's actually unattainable for us. Lately we had some problems in our mission. Recently, I have explained to some devotees in China that you got to the mission of Govinda Maharaj. Everyone listens to Shidar Maharaj lectures in, on the internet.
Но мы в семье Говинда Махараджа, его любимого ученика, его... Вот и наше служение yeah. Гуру Махараджа, Махараджа. Гуру Махараджа. эксклюзивный поток. Она все, что Махарадж с Говинда Махарадж. Эксклюзив Махарадж. А для своего Мадха, небольшого for Мадха. His Мадха for Махарадж, his small Мадха. Фигура. Но у него есть свой небольшой yeah. Мадха. He has a small mat. He is like a universal figure, but for his small mat, he established his own rules. Because everywhere you can meet some pies are selling, some astrology is going on, everyone goes to Loi Bazaar. But Guru Mukharaj said, no, that's not my mood. I will trade with the most precious spiritual ideas. And the price is your soul. You should pay with yourself. It's not like the seminar, how to purify your karma, how to improve yourself, become better self. Become effective, learn about Krishna and resolve all your problems with Maha Mantra, and you will attain spiritual world shortly. That's not spiritual marketing of Guru Maharaj. He said, die to live. The price for this knowledge is your surrender, your death, so to say. And you will not get anything in return. Ну, It's like transcendental ну, jihad. Die, but do not ask for anything. And but what's the point? What's the happiness? You ask to sacrifice yourself. You're asked to sacrifice yourself, but not to get anything in return. But if we that cannot be in any other way. Those who are at war and die for their motherland, They do not die for enjoyment, for the sake of enjoyment of their motherland. They die so that their successors would enjoy it, so that their daughters and sons stay there and live happily. So you are giving this temporary life for the eternal life. Only the copies of Rindavan can serve in such a mood that they are ready to go to the eternal hell for the sake of Krishna's happiness. They are not saying, oh, now we're going to do something and we'll get the full happiness from Krishna. No, then it's going to be like business. Krishna is not that cheap as it seems. But when someone is ready to sacrifice himself, absolutely, without asking anything in return, without desiring it, then Guru Maharaj says, You are ready to enter Sri Chaitanya Saraswatmat. When the Japanese understood that it's not possible to win. Um, the Americans, they created kamikaze, the divine wind. And they said, if we cannot stop our motherland from being conquered, then we will die for it. In kamikaze, they were from 16 to 20 years, their age, and they joyously went to die. So when the Americans conquered Japan through mass media, they started to preach that kamikaze, they were fanatics, and that's bad. But those who understand what's the real spiritual kamikaze, those who can appreciate the spirit 
of self-dedication and self-sacrifice. And Guru Maharaj preaching to us, if somebody wants something else, some astrological auspicious forecast, we have Vedic astrologers in the world, and others. If someone wants to heal himself, they can obtain yoga. We have this. We have sound healing and so on. We do not deny the life of this world in the world of suffering. We do not deny Vedic psychology or something else. We use it ourselves, but Sri Chaitanya Saraswatmat that's the place, the very place that Guru Maharaj defined as the world of self-dedication, self-sacrifice. And I will stop here for now with one prayer to all of you. To Vijay Narasimha Maharaj, to Hrishikesh Maharaj. Because of those, they are the souls who made themselves the instruments of Shri Guru and His grace. When we dedicate ourselves to Guru, we become His instrument. No one got the Krishna consciousness just for nothing. How many people came through Narasimha Maharaj, through Krishikesh Maharaj? They came through the kitchen. And Maharaj might not be speaking Sanskrit, but he talks the language of the heart. And Krishikesh Maharaj, he, didn't, he was dreaming of becoming a guru. He was always it's cooking on the fire, the kitchen. That's our life. That is our life. And it was our life. The main thing is the spirit. The fanatical spirit of serving to Gurudev without any remuneration. Not asking, not desiring to sell something, to acquire something, to exchange the energy. We are not trying to follow those models of material life. We understand that the spirit of Sri Chaitanya Saraswatmat is not possible to sell or to buy. It's acquired only through the personalities of surrendered personalities. And we have these personalities in our association. And I'm not uh, saying that I am such person. I consider myself very fortunate to get in touch with such devotees. And we had, if we had no such devotees, no. Yeah, well, I am one of the first preachers in our mission. But we do not have that much people who come and who appreciate this idea in this material world. Many people like to come to take prasadam, to enjoy. But if someone tells you, leave all your relatives, as Hrishkesh Maharaj said, or leave all your possessions, sacrifice them, as Narasimha Maharaj said, said, that's the bad ad. You, you need to have like insane faith in your heart to do so. And Guru Maharaj is searching after such madman. Guru Dev was such a madman himself. They are collecting such madmen for their family. They are not all of such an exalted level. Some of us do not understand anything, but we have some secrecy, some 
I don't know. Attraction. So we've got some perspective. As Guru Maharaj said, if you're sitting in the proper train and you're moving in the right direction, you will get to the destination sooner or later. Unless you get off the train yourself. My prayer to Narasim Maharaj, to Kashikesh Maharaj and others to bless me, to bless all of us not to get off this train. Because sometimes we see that very beautiful pictures behind the window. Sometimes it feels like not very comfortable. You have some strange people. And behind the window you see very beautiful ladies or nice scenery of Thailand. And maybe you feel like, oh, I should get off the train and it's going to be great. Because before, during the war time, we had these trains of life. The most terrible thing was to get off the train and not to get back in time. Some people went off for some hot water and they didn't make it in time, they couldn't join the train. And the next train could be in your next life. So if you're lucky enough to get the ticket, you get the place of this train of life, you got the seat, then do not complain that you do not have a seat comfortable enough and you don't have pillow and maybe you want to go get off look some at some ladies buy some stuff don't miss your train that's my prayer and we also know that Guru Maharaj he was very High level devotee, he had very high standard. But Guru Dev, he, he was very merciful and he was accepting for souls. And you might get to Sri Chaitanya Sarasat in credit, but it can be cancelled as well. And you, you, you should pay this credit with your heart, with your soul. Today is the disappearance of Shilashi Dharma Maharaj. Today I woke up. Unfortunately, I'm feeling sick because of the air con. I'm feeling okay, but it's like the regular flu. I thought that there is a special day today. And I was fortunate to start this day from this talk, this association of all of you. And I hope later we will have some Zoom organized in Russian. But here I have to say goodbye from God. So I express myself by the grace of Guru Maharaj. I ask blessings of all devotees and uh, my deep appreciation of Shimati Bhakti Lalita Devi, who is holding the program in Guru Maharaj's name here at uh, Chaitanya Saraswat Mat, Chan Mai, and uh, being very kind and mercifully uh, taking care of all the devotees and keeping the family house together while some of the elder members may not be fully healthy and present at the programs, but still. She is keeping us all bound by the great heart of Shiva Govinda Maharaj and his exclusive servitors. And I would like to ask the blessings of Guru Maharaj Gurudev and all the present devotees, especially sannyasis like Narsim Harabhijay Maharaj, Ishikesh Maharaj, Vaikanas Maharaj, Mahavir Maharaj, etc. Because there are good souls who are trying to sacrifice their own life for the sake of Guru Maharaj's teachings and Guru Maharaj's grace. 
And I said many times, this is not Srila Sridhar Maharaj's mission. Some people think it is Srila Sridhar Maharaj's mission, but they don't understand the position of Srila Sridhar Maharaj. As I said, Srila Sridhar Maharaj is vice president of Rupa Goswami, which means He's leader of this con, he's leader of all the Gobi Mahat, he's leader of Chaitanya Saraswat Mahat. So his position is like, you know, like if you say Secretary of the United Nations, he's not just applying to Chaitanya Saraswat Mahat, but in Chaitanya Saraswat Mahat, that group which is represented by Srila Govinda Maharaj, what is the group? The people who are seeking entrance to the service, his direct service. So Srila Govinda Maharaj is leading that Guru Maharaj's group. That's why this is Govinda Maharaj's mission, like Radharani, her leader, Rupa Manjari, she's leading those who are serving Radharani. So Radharani is for all, but Rupa Manjari is for Radharani. So Govinda Maharaj is for Guru Maharaj. That is our vision. And that's why we have an exclusive family of devotees and followers of Srila Govinda Maharaj. Why? Because Govinda Maharaj is leading our group to serve Guru Maharaj. And that is my clear understanding. And I hope this clear understanding is being transferred to our devotees. I think most of them understand that. Joshua, and of course, just want to mention one more time, in that group we have very superior direct disciples of Shri Guru Maharaj, such as Goswami Maharaj, Vaikanas Maharaj, Madhusudan Maharaj, etc., but still, that is Govinda Maharaj's group. And in under Govinda Maharaj's grace, we're able to continue that divine service. Jayashul Govinda Maharaj Ki Jayashul Guru Maharaj Disappearance Festival, Rupa Goswami Mahaprabhu, Tanda Prabhu, all the wonderful Vaishnava Acharyas, devotees, and all the missions of Chaitanya Saraswat Mat Ki Jai. Uh, so, with your permission, we will now. Uh, do our Pushpanjali offering and uh, continue with our festivities. So, Jai, all of our viewers and those participating on Zoom, to our assembled devotees, we have our Bhima here with Chinese group, and hopefully a little later we can get some translation for them. And... Uh, and you, how we are here, family style celebration and praying Guru and Goranga will bless us. Srila Bhakti Rakak Sridhar Dev Goswami Maharaj on his disappearance day. We're trying to observe with our faith and full attention, feeling ever in debt by the grace of our Guru Dev, allowing us, giving us connection to our grandfather Guru Maharaj. So um, let us continue. Thank you all for joining us on Zoom. And about. <clears throat>
Yeah. 